Before you remove these from the microwave, obviously short them out. Just get rid of that 2,000 volts. These are only 1,000 volts, but I'm sure they'll be alright. <laughs> So just short the leads out, short the connections out one to the other and get rid of that high voltage. So this is a microwave capacitor. It's a 2100 volts, one microfarad, a 10 mega ohm resistor uh, parallel with the capacitor. So I'm going to test it. First on continuity. So you set the continuity on the buzzer. Make sure it works. And test between each of the two terminals on the top. You should be getting nothing. And nothing to earth neither, or nothing to the body of the unit. If there's any leakage, then it's faulty. Then, I'm going to test it for capacitance. Alright, I got it set. So, one point. 1.1 microfarad. Supposed to be 1.05, so close. So then, set it to ohms. It should read 10 mega ohms. It might take a while to do this test, so I'll stick my leads on. There you go, it's settling back now. Should be 10 mega ohms. That's close enough for me. While you're here, you might as well test that diode as well. It's a high voltage diode. You have to test it on mega ohms because the diode mode don't put out enough power to pass through it. So, passing the electric one way, but not the other. So, the diode is good as well. In fact, I'll just try my uh, insulation resistance test to see if that'll pass electric through at 500 volts. So I'll do it the negative side, this side first. It shouldn't read. I'll just move it away from that body. So I've got it at 500 volts. So great in the 500 mega ohms, so it's not passing any current that way. And short circuit so it is that way so that's a uh, useful so that one tests good no short circuits between each other good micro uh, good capacitance and good uh, uh, resistance 10 mega ohms